Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do my Cajun ribeye. I've got a couple ribeye steaks here we're gonna get seasoned with some of my King Crawl Rub. Get it on a hot grill, sear it perfect, top it with some Bayou butter I'm gonna to slap together. It's gonna to be delicious. Let's get to cooking. Now before I season these steaks, I'm gonna make a little Bayou butter. I've got one stick of softened butter. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of stone ground or Creole mustard. One tablespoon of my King Crawl Cajun seasoning, a little bit of parsley flakes, Stir it all up, and then get it rolled up in some plastic wrap. Stick it back in the refrigerator while we cook the steaks, light the grill. We're gonna top these ribeyes with it right at the very end. So the first thing we're gonna do these ribeyes is get a little olive oil on them. It's gonna help our Cajun seasoning stick. Now these are some beautiful ribeyes. Got a nice big spinalis on the front, little try-hard action going. These came from off chuck end of the ribeye. Now they're gonna be tender. I always look for the ones that have that big spinalis. So we'll just drizzle a little olive oil on it, kind of spread it around a little bit. Go ahead and do both sides here. Doesn't take much, just a little drizzle. Then we're gonna season it with some of my King Crawl Cajun seasoning. It's a Cajun ribeye, you gotta have a good Cajun seasoning. If you got a favorite one, go ahead and use that here too. We're gonna be pretty generous with it, almost using it like a blackening season. I wanna make sure I get the edges, flip it back over. Let's get that top side, pat it in a little bit. We'll knock this other one out. Just a little olive oil on the outside, kind of make it happy. Good generous shake of that King Crawl. Pat it in on that side. Season this edge, I got a little fat on there. That's gonna cook up nice. Now I'm just gonna let these ribeyes hang out here, get happy with all that seasoning on the outside. I'm gonna go fire up the Weber and get some coals hot. So I'm putting some Royal Oak all natural briquettes in a chimney, got a tumbleweed going underneath. We're gonna get those coals good and hot. It's gonna take about 15, 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna dump them in the Weber down in the bottom on the fire grate. Put my grill grate in place. You can see my grill grates on there. I'm gonna hit those with a little grill brush. Spray them with a little bit of your favorite cooking spray just to get that seasoning ready so that meat don't stick. Those ribeyes are gonna be ready for the grill. Close it down, let it come up to it's about 550 degrees. We're gonna be ready to cook. All right, our Weber's ready to go. These grates are good and hot. We're gonna put these ribeye steaks right on them. Get us some good sizzle, press them down. I'm gonna get a timer going. These are gonna be about a minute and a half. Then we're gonna twist them. Flip them, do the same thing. It won't take long. All right, it's been a minute and a half. We're gonna go ahead and get these steaks turned around a little bit. Get those grill marks going crossways on it. Press them down, lid closed, another minute and a half. All right, we've been a total of three minutes. Now it's time to give these steaks a flip. We're gonna do the same thing, look at those grill marks. That is beautiful. Press them down just a little bit. Same thing for this one. Grill grates, getting it done. We need a minute and a half, then we're gonna twist them again. A minute and a half, they'll be done for me. Now at the twist, I wanna add a pat of that Bayou butter to the top of each one of these ribeyes. All right, after another minute and 15, the butter started to melt. These ribeyes are done. That's exactly where I wanna eat it, about medium rare. If you wanna cook it a little longer, just go a few more minutes. Gonna let that butter finish melting over here on the cutting board. It's gonna drizzle down, make that steak taste phenomenal. And while these steaks are resting, they need about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna put another little half of butter right up underneath them. That way we can get us some good dipping sauce when we get ready to slice these steaks. You know they're happy. Buy you butter on top, buy you butter underneath. All right, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to try one of these ribeyes. Let me get this one off right here. Don't think I forgot about that butter there in that pan. Move it to the side. A little trusty knife here. Let's cut this dude in half. See how we did. Felt good going through. Ooh. Let's look at it. That's medium rare, if I've ever seen it. Well, I'm gonna just cut some slices now. Get up in that spinalis. You know I'm fixing to get me a bite right out of here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now that's got some flavor to it right there. It's got all this Cajun seasoning that's in that King Crawl. The Dijon mustard comes through in the, in the butter, but it just pairs with it so great. Gives it a little bit of a spiciness, but it's not hot. That's a flavorful ribeye. Mm. I'm gonna drizzle the rest of this pan butter all over this steak. Put it over this back one too. It's dinner time, fellas. And don't knock this Cajun ribeye till you try it because the spices are big and bold. 
My King Crawl acts just like a blackened season when you put it on meat and sear it. You could do this on any grill. You don't have to have a Weber in the grill grates. It'd be good on a cast iron skillet over some hot coals or even inside. Just don't forget that butter because that's what makes it special. Thank y'all for hanging out with us today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You know you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok. And Shell and I will talk about this Cajun ribeye, all the other delicious stuff we're cooking on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen too. We'll see you next time. Woo, guarantee you some good ribeye right here. I need some dirty rice, some kind of tater. We got a meal. Mm.